The Festival of Colors is here, and with it comes a very colorful fish. This is Bruxish, a new water and psychic type Pokemon. And this one is weather boosted because we currently have windy weather right now, but apparently when it comes down to the psychic cup in PvP, this thing is going to be really good for it. So let's catch this thing and see how it goes. To be honest with you, a lot of people consider this Pokemon very ugly, but I know a few people out there that really love this Pokemon, so it's cool to see it finally in Pokemon Go. And there it is, registered to the decks. We're only like a couple minutes into the event, so it's cool that we ran into one so quickly. And just for fun, let's take a look at it's IVs. Yeah, that is not good for PvP at all. <laughs> but I'm also curious to see the moves it gets. It gets Confusion and Crunch, which is actually pretty decent. But if we get an Elite Fast TM on this thing, it can also learn Water Gun and Bite. Both of those are pretty decent. And then if we go for the Charge TM, it can also learn Psychic Fangs and Aqua Tail. Oh, okay, that's why it's good for PvP. Those moves right there are really good, but also Crunch is good too. Personally, I don't know which Charge moves I would give this Bruxish, because like, honestly, Crunch is great. It has a chance of lowering defenses, and I think Psychic Fangs does that automatically, just doesn't do as much damage. And Aqua Tail's really spammy, so I can see why people are saying that this Pokemon's gonna be pretty decent in PvP. It's actually really good. But not only is there a brand new fish to catch, we also have ourselves a collection challenge here, and we have to collect every single one of these Pokemon, and we gotta find a male Burmy in order to turn it into a Motham. But that shouldn't be too hard at all. Let's complete this. Progress on the collection challenge is going pretty well, but I just realized I didn't watch the newest episode of The Mandalorian, and I wanted to watch that really quickly, and I'm glad I did, because I popped it in since, and sure enough, we got ourselves a shiny Pidov. So, cool. And it's a big one, too, so that's kind of fun, but this will be our first shiny of the video. But before we catch this one, last night I did get a shiny Tepig as well, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, let's catch this real fast. Boom. We already have a golden raspberry on this thing, so it shouldn't get away, but one do and three we got it perfect and it's okay we got ourselves a 6 14 12 but still our first shiny of the video but now that we got this thing i'm gonna head back out because i just finished the episode and this sandy burmy is going to be the last pokemon we need for the collection challenge as long as we catch it but it has a green circle we have an ultra ball so we should get this thing hopefully and there we go we got it perfect now that we've collected that we just wait a couple seconds and the collection challenge should pop up there we go now we are at 101 very nice now we can collect this stuff looks like we're gonna 200,000 XP. That's insane. So we're getting a lore, which is cool. That'll last three hours. Oh, wait, no, no. That's just 20,000 XP, but still really cool. But now that we're done with that, let's focus on Smeargle. Because during this event, Smeargle can be shiny, and you get up to five photobombs a day. So I'm going to photobomb this one right here. It's got Lock On and Body Slam on it, and I want this because whenever you take a snapshot of any Pokemon, the Smeargle is going to copy the moves and have it for itself, unless it has Frustration. If it has Frustration, it's going to get a random move. And I think Return also works that way as well. I don't think it can learn either one of those moves. But with that being said, let's take a picture of this one because I want a really good shiny one with lock on and body slam, even though the one I'm taking a picture of is a 98. But this tree is a wonderful background, so boom, there we go. We've got our first photo bomb. And there's the Smeargle. Is it shiny? It is not shiny on our first one, sadly. And I also wouldn't mind getting a Hundo because I don't have a Hundo one and I really want one for the Hundo decks. And I've done so many trades. So let's take a look at this thing's IVs. It is not even close. Snapshot number two, we're gonna have a little bit of the lake in the background, and we have a different photo bomb picture. That's kind of cool. But will this one be the shiny. I would like to get another one. I've only gotten one ever, but it's still more than some out there. So it is not it, sadly, 133. And this one's IVs are going to be pretty bad as well. Here's number three. Come on, number three, please be shiny. I would love to see a shiny in this video. So right here, right now, it's red. It, it's not red, okay. But this one's slightly bigger, 161. Not that that really matters. You want it to be in like the 300s is when it'll start looking really good for IVs. Or I could be really lucky right here and have a low level hundo. Let's see it. No, not even close. Picture number four. Four. There we go. Now let's hope that this one will choose to be shiny. The shiny rate on these things is supposed to be like 1 in 64, if not a little better. It could be like spender rates as well. So this one right here is also not the shine and a 173. And here's the final photobomb of today. There we go. And let us hope that number five will choose to shine. Please be a shiny. It is not a shiny. Oh well, such is life. But perhaps this one will turn out to be a hundo. Let's see it. 248. What are you? Not even close to a hundo. Okay. Now that we're done with that collection challenge, let's pop the daily incense just because I'm in a different area than normal. From what I've heard, apparently that has something to do with the daily incense, like if you go to a brand new spot. So we're going to test that out, but it looks like we're starting off with a Krabby that isn't yellow. Ladies and gentlemen, Galarian Moltres. Let's go. And it's a 1379. That's not nearly as big as I thought it was going to be. Let's hope we can actually catch this thing. And I need to find a place to put you guys down. I want to get a good throw on this. This is probably not the smartest thing to do on a bicycle trail, but whatever. I don't see anybody coming just yet. And of course, as soon as I lay down, he goes right up. Please come back down. Thank you very much. I need to get a good throw on this. And of course, he just attacks. Let's do it again. Yeah. Wow, that was terrible. Oh my goodness. I'm a little nervous. I'm sure you can tell, but you know, it's a Galarian Moltres. I'm excited. And there we go. Great curveball throw. Obviously, excellent would have been better, but one, two, 
Oh my god! Yes! We caught it! Our first ever Galarian Moltres caught in Pokemon Go. Let's go. And it's... It's whatever. It's okay. But we actually caught a Galarian Moltres. Let's go! And the daily instance is over, but we got the Galarian Moltres. Our final Galarian bird that we had to catch on our own. We caught the Zapdos, we caught the Articuno, and now we've officially caught the Moltres. But I know that a few of you eagle-eyed viewers noticed that in a couple videos ago, I had a Galarian Moltres as my buddy flying around. And the reason why that happened is I actually got one from a lucky trade from my good friend Disney mom Rachel in Vegas But unfortunately the footage of me doing the trade got lost I mean the actual live footage of me and her doing it is there But I could swear I recorded that footage But I can't seem to find it anywhere So perhaps maybe I screwed up on that But it is what it is If you want to see what it looks like This is the lucky one right here it Looks pretty cool you know It's a 14, 12, 14 So it's pretty alright But now I officially have one that I caught on my own And then the other two I've also caught on my own I'm just so happy that we finally completed all three of them by catching them and to be honest with you, I'm not gonna rest when it comes down to these daily incenses because I wanna get more of them, you know? I've got friends that still need them. I have a friend that has the Zapdos and the Moltres, but they don't have the Articuno yet. So I'm gonna keep popping them. I'm gonna keep trying to get as many as possible just so I can trade them to everybody. But I am still just very happy. My first ever Galarian Moltres that I caught. So happy. And now I'm back home. It's been a long time though. I went to the gym with Goku and I am very sore right now. So I'm thinking we're gonna wrap this up. But first we have more Smeargle snapshots. So let's do it. This one is number one. I should also mention that it's like 1.48 in the morning. But will this one be red-tailed? That'd be cool. It's not. Aw, oh, darn. Number two. Let's see some red tail golden skin action right here. Nope, not it. And a 280, though. That's up there. The 280 is going to be... Yeah, not as good as I hoped it would be. Number three. And this one. No, sadly not it. 174 is gonna be pretty much just as bad. Quattro. Come on, Quattro. Big money. No way Whammies, we got a whammy, okay. And the fourth one's IVs are really bad. And here is the final Smeargle of day number two. You know what they say, the 10th time is the charm, so here it is, boom. No, it's not it, 31 CP. And the final one's IVs are going to be just as bad as the other ones, but you know what, whatever. We already have a shiny Smeargle, so it's not something I desperately need, but hopefully we'll be able to get at least one during this event. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. I mean, we literally just got all the Galarian birds, so if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you really enjoyed the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest you check out this video right over here. But with that being said, I hope to see you in the next one.